I think it looks really cute. She's beautiful. Oh, that looks so satisfying. It's just purple milk. I ended up finishing this whole entire thing. <laughs> Hi guys, today I'm gonna make healthy, popular TikTok recipes. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with healthy pancakes. To start off, I am mashing two very ripe bananas. Okay, I'm gonna try to film a TikTok while doing this. Ah! One more try. Oh my gosh, I did it with, well, I mean, kind of. Had a little bit of vanilla extract as well. I would probably say about a teaspoon. Oh my, that was way more than one teaspoon. It smells disgusting! Well, I usually add Greek yogurt. We're gonna try it out with coconut yogurt today. Should we add more? Yes, we shall. Stir. Okay, I'm also adding half a cup of oat flour. I don't know if I'm supposed to use baking powder or baking soda. I don't really know the difference to be honest. So I'm gonna use baking soda because I use it more often. So I'm gonna add a pinch of baking soda and a little bit of cinnamon. A lot of bit of cinnamon because we know Rachel loves cinnamon. So like that's that's a pinch. Actually, let's add more. <laughs> I'm pretty sure baking soda is what kind of like you know. And cinnamon. Stir to combine. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't tell mama. Oh my gosh, that was on my coconut yogurt. Whatever, it's fine, it's okay. So now we need like a piping bag kind of situation. So I'm gonna put it in this plastic bag. Anything. Oh shh! Fuck, 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 fuck. Why can't I do anything? Look at me go. I'm basically heating up the pan right now. And ow! Why did I do that? That. Burns my finger. I'm gonna cut this bag. Hopefully it's not too disastrous. And I'm gonna put like little dots of it. Oh, she's a little too big. This is how bad mine looks right now. These don't look like mini pancakes. They look like blobs. This does not look cute at all. But these are my second batch. I think this looks a lot better. I'm just flipping them like this. This is what it ended up looking like. I think it looks really cute. It's just, it took a lot of time and effort. I kind of got lazy and so I ended up making the rest into these like bigger pancakes. Okay, taste test. I put some agave syrup on it. Oh fuck. I also have some almond milk. Actually, I'm gonna dunk it. <gasps> Tastes the same. Overall, I would probably give this like a 9 out of 10. The taste was 10 out of 10, but the time that I spent on this made it lose a point. Next up, we're gonna make... Even though my sister and my mom are literally obsessed with it and they drink it almost every single day. To make it healthy, instead of using white sugar, people just substitute that with coconut sugar. I don't know if that's gonna mess up the texture. We're gonna try it out. We need two tablespoons of instant coffee. Actually, I'm gonna do one tablespoon just because one tablespoon of coconut sugar, one tablespoon of hot water. I wish I had a hand mixer to make life easier, but I don't have that. I have to whisk this for like a long time. My arms are already like dying. I've literally done it for 20 seconds and I'm already tired. I'm the most impatient person ever so I probably shouldn't be doing this but it's like dark brown and I think it's supposed to be light brown. My arms hurt so bad. In the end it's probably gonna taste the same so should I just like not? I'm not even kidding it took me like 25 minutes to get to this point. I physically cannot do this anymore. My arm is in extreme pain. <laughs> we got it to this point. I feel like that's pretty good. My mom had to do this for me for like five minutes because I couldn't do it anymore. 
I already filled up my mason jar with ice, so I'm just gonna. Okay. <laughs> it's like this now. Fill it up with almond milk. I'm gonna fill up the rest of the cup with a coffee mixture. I think it's definitely darker than it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's because I didn't whisk it enough or what. Oh my gosh, that looks really satisfying. It is not bad. That's really good actually, but I will say I will never ever ever make this again because I don't care how good this is I don't think it's worth it for me to be sitting down and killing my arms for 30 minutes Just for me to make this one drink that I'm gonna kill in 30 seconds I'm Literally balancing my camera on top of spices right now, but anyways, I'm gonna make 15 minutes healthy brownies It's like brownies made of bananas and I have to use up bananas really really bad right now these are about to go bad i just have to mash two bananas i think i might like half the recipe oh my god mm. it literally smells like dog food can a banana expire look at that i can crack an egg one handed yeah i think i'm just gonna do one egg it says three and since i'm halving it it has to be one and a half, but then I'll have to waste the other half. Fourth cup of cocoa powder. So that means I need two tablespoons. One right there. That is two. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. So that would be a fourth teaspoon. And it says stevia, but I don't have that. So we're just not going to use anything. And a pinch of salt. So I'll just use like that much. That's probably a pinch. Like, whoop. And I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. 375. Oh, frack. Why is it that every time I'm filming a cooking video, I get something on my shirt? This doesn't look or smell too promising right now, to be honest. It also said a fourth cup of chocolate chips. Bam. And the girl used a skillet to like cook her brownie. So I'm gonna try to do this in a skillet. Spray the pan. Just gonna pour this in. Oh yeah, baby. Hopefully it rises because it's literally as thin as a pancake. That one TikTok or a cut cake. Okay, well, first go of back all, and you shower. are a catfish and a pancake combined. Hashtag cut cake. Bake at 375 for 15 minutes. So we're gonna do that right now. I don't know. This looks like a pancake to me. I feel like I should have used little like muffin things because I only made half. But I'm gonna drizzle some PB2 on top. Ow, that's hot. She's beautiful, but uh, we'll see how she tastes. Eh. It doesn't taste like a brownie to me. It just tastes like chocolate banana. I guess that's pretty much what it is, but like I expected more from it. Kind of disappointing. You know what? This would taste bomb with ice cream. Let's try this with ice cream. The ice cream definitely made it better. The warmth of the brownie with the ice cream. So good. I ended up finishing this whole entire thing in two minutes. Alrighty, so for the fourth and final recipe, we're gonna try out the easiest one on here. Go grab some frozen blueberries, then add in some milk. I'm using almond milk and let it sit there for a few minutes. Make sure all the blueberries are covered and then you're gonna get slush. Look at that. It's like magic. Really good. It's sweet. It's light and slightly creamy. That's basically like healthy blueberry slush. So for this recipe, all I have to do is put in some frozen berries and mix it in with some almond milk and like stir until it turns into that slush consistency. It's not turning into slush. It's just purple milk. I don't know if I'm supposed to wait. Okay, my family would not leave me alone. So then I'm gonna do a taste test in my room instead. I'm gonna sprinkle on some granola. It kind of does have like a slushy consistency. That's cold. Oh my god. I mean, it's good, but there's nothing really special to it. It's just blueberry milk. So I'd give this like a 6.5 out of 10. I turned off the camera for two seconds and then I realized that I forgot to end the video. Like I always do. 
but not today. Um, thank you for watching this video. Maybe next time I'll do like testing TikTok recipes, but not healthy. If you want more videos, like and subscribe. Bye.